you, it's quite a novel thing. And those of you who would have grown in, in a church, in different church traditions like myself, I was Christian as a child, you would think that's a bit of an odd thing to have somebody that is an adult uh, going through something that looks a little bit odd. Jesus invites people to make a decision at a time in their lives where they are <coughs> capable of making that decision for themselves. So tonight uh, it's Lewis's turn. Uh, some of his friends in the youth group were baptized last year. And uh, I'm going to ask him a few questions uh, that will enable you to get to know him a little bit more, if you don't already. And then we're going to have the baptism. And then we're going to come and sing some more songs. So. For those who don't know who you are, tell us a little bit about who you are, how old you are, where you're from, that kind of stuff. Well, I'm Lewis. Uh, Lewis Hurst. Used to be Connor. Got my name changed. Like you do. Uh, I'm 16, 17 in August. Um, went to Rosendale School. I'm at my school college at the moment. Yeah. What's your passion in life? Uh, <coughs> hmm, not really sure. <laughs> Probably computers. I, yeah. Probably computers. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. So if you need your computer sorted out, give it to Lewis. Um, what, what does it mean for you to be a Christian? Because I know that for a lot of people, being a Christian means a lot of very different things. So what does it mean for you to be a Christian? Well, for me, being a Christian is basically not to just go to church every Sunday and just go through the routine. But being a Christian for me is to follow the word of God and follow the word of Jesus like it was your own life. That's, that's pretty good. What, what, uh, what made you, because I know you started coming to church, uh, well, how, how long ago is it actually that you started coming to church? October 25th. Yeah. Oh, I, I thought you would remember. And, uh, but what, what made you come and <coughs> what made you decide to follow Jesus? Uh, where is he? That crazy guy right there. <laughs> where is home? <laughs> so, <laughs> well, I'm a whole lot happier now. Um, yeah, I'm a lot happier. Obviously, I'm following God. I won't be dabbing in that. Um, uh, yeah. yeah. Does it? Do, do you feel that some of your attitudes from the past have changed because of Jesus coming into life? Or are they changing? Can, can, do you think the people around you are beginning to notice that there's a difference in your life? Yeah, I think they're beginning to notice there's a difference in my life. But, yeah, I think there's still a lot more work to be done. That's in all of us. Do you, what, do you think being a Christian is challenging? How, did you find that in your life? Yeah, quite a bit. There's a whole lot of temptation there. Yeah. And thinking about baptism, what, what made you decide to, to go for it? Um, I just wanted to declare public public faith to Jesus. Because guess what, everyone? I love Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, if there are people here that either don't follow Jesus, or don't love Jesus yet, or have never been baptized, this is your chance to say something to them. Do it. <laughs> Fantastic. See, if you get Louis to preach every every Sunday night, it'll be a lot shorter. We'll get the whole lot. Thank you. That's great. Fantastic. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go outside, we're gonna give time to everybody to come outside and, and get a space in our spacious back garden. Uh, and then we're gonna go through with the baptism service. Are you done driving? What's that? No, I'm not going to drive in. Alright, you think you're sitting in like... Take it. Is it cold? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Not all the way down. It's cold. It's actually quite warm. <laughs> The one with the one I had, I got the last one. You got a big one, sweet one, didn't you? Is he still here? Where's he gone? Personally, I reckon he should have got baptized more than me. Thank <laughs> you. 
Luis, do you believe that Jesus forgives you of all your sins? I hope so. Are you committing <laughs> your life to follow him for the rest of your life? Yes, I am. On your confession of faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Going to read you some verses. <laughs> <laughs> um, Corinthians 6, oh, yeah, verses 4 to 10. But in everything, commending ourselves as servants of God, in much endurance, in afflictions, in hardships, in distresses, in beatings, in imprisonments, in tumults, in labours, in sleeplessness, in hunger, in purity, in knowledge, in patience, in kindness, in the Holy Spirit, in genuine love in the word of truth, in the power of God, by the weapons of righteousness for the right hand and the left, by glory and dishonour, by evil report and good report, regarded as deceivers and yet true, as unknown yet well known, as dying yet behold we live, as punished yet not put to death, as sorrowful yet always rejoicing, as poor yet making many rich, as having nothing yet possessing all things. Louis, I bless you. I just said that the Lord is, is saying that um, this baptism is not too early, it's not too late, it's the right time. Awesome. And timing is a key element in your life for the Lord to do something. Thank you. Anybody else words of encouragement? Or you can say it to him later on. Woo! Great, <laughs> well done. Very well done. Check your bottoms are better than Thai jeans. <laughs> I know it. Don't stop filming, man. <laughs>